Hello, I'm Rocky Top, and I thought I'd take a minute to explain why it's harder to get an 18-inch electric unicycle to go up a hill over a 14-inch electric unicycle. Uh, I wasn't aware of this in the beginning, and I got an 18-inch wheel, and when I switched over, it was a little more difficult to get up the hill, and it didn't make any sense because it should have a lot more power, so it should just zip up the hill, when in fact the smaller 10-inch wheels uh, don't even notice the hills, but the bigger the wheel, the more it seems to resist going up the hill. Now, the simple solution is to squeeze the wheel with your legs and use your body as a pry bar to pry the wheel forward. However, I have uh, drawn out a picture to describe and show why it actually requires more force to go up a hill on a bigger wheel. In this picture you can see the unicycle on level ground, you have the the ground represented by this line, the center of the unicycle here and the pedal. Uh, if you apply force down on the front of the pedal here, the unicycle will go this way, and if you apply here, it'll go this way. If you notice that the center line goes to the center of the axle, through the center of the pedal, and it is also where the ground meets the tire. However, if you're going up a hill, you notice that the unicycle stays plumb, the pedal stays level, and the ground is at an angle. But where the tire meets the ground is further this way. Okay, So, when you apply force on the front of the pedal, the force has to be applied in front of this line here, not this line. In addition, a larger weight of the unicycle is behind this line. So not only do you have to put more pressure on a smaller part of the pedal, but your body has to compensate for the weight of the unicycle itself. So you have a smaller area and, a, and less leverage. Now, on a smaller unicycle, w that line is closer to center. Uh, I drew this out of proportion and it kind of cheats in my favor, I, I'll admit. But on a smaller unicycle, you only have to overcome a smaller distance to get it to go up the hill. Where on a larger unicycle, you really have to lean forward on the pedal more to get it to go up the hill. Which, of course, you have to grab the top of the wheel with your leg and just pry it over. Um, making the pedal larger might help, except that your foot isn't any bigger. So you'd have to move your foot forward, and when you got to the top of the hill and started going back down, kind of find out that's not good either. Kind of did that once. So uh, if you're wondering why it's harder to get a larger wheel up the hill, that's it. 